friends in continuation to the last chapter in this chapter we will learn about mean median and mode as you know mean is actually the average of a set so here we are having five sets and each each set there are six numbers we will calculate mean median and mode for calculating a mean what we can do is we have to write down equal to average we are already through with the average function in the past and we select these six and press enter and in this way we can calculate the mean of a set of numbers we can drag it down to calculate average or mean median is the middle number if we are having a set of numbers and we arrange them in ascending order or in descending order then we can actually find out which number is actually in the middle of that so let us try it out we write down equal to median bracket open and we select this set and press enter and you see 23 is actually the median of all these numbers and if we can drag it down then these are the middle numbers that uh, are available with us mode mode stands for the number uh, that is having the highest presence in a set of numbers or we can say the highest frequency let us try it out we'll write down equal to mode bracket open and select our set and press enter so it gives an error let us drag it down and see if again it is giving an error or not we drag it down uh, in the first set it gives an error where in the four other sets it gives an answer so see, you see in the first set any because there is all the numbers are having equal frequencies six numbers six different numbers equal frequencies so it gives an error in the second there are two numbers one and eight they are having two frequencies each there is a three and thirty are appearing only once so there are two modes actually one and eight but what happened is the number which appears first in the set and the selection of the set that comes as a mode let us try to exchange this 8 with 1 and this this 8 will replace it with 1 you see now here the mode changes with 8 because 8 appears first in the whole set we will have control z for the original set data in similarly in the second 33 appears twice then 7 appears twice and then last one 1 appears twice so in this way we can have mode now next set says that we have to find the mean median mode for all these numbers as a together one single set average bracket open select the complete set and press enter we'll have our mean or the average for median we'll write down equal to median bracket open and we'll select all and press enter write this and in this one we'll write down equal to mode bracket open select all and press enter now in reality you see there are more than one modes there is seven is a mode like in our set two we are having two modes eight and one but it showed only one similarly in the whole set we are having more than one modes there is probably an eight or probably one are there so there are the possibility that we are having more modes so for doing for understanding the single mode and multi mode let us move up here if we want to have a single mode we have already worked out how to find a single mode there is another uh, formula for finding a single mode we can write down equal to mode and there is a mode single we can select this and select our data set and press enter uh, this will give only a single mode in the first there are no modes all numbers are equal so it is giving an error any and whereas in the rest it gives us the mode to find a multi mode we have to select multiple cells and we can we don't know how many numbers are there uh, in in a data set which can uh, be qualified for being multiple modes so we can select uh, by assumption uh, n number of cells like this let us say we select these cells we'll write down equal to mode mode and you see the first is mode dot mult we'll select mode dot mult and select our data set let us select this second data set uh, we'll select this second data set bracket close and then we have to press control shift enter just make sure you do not shift only enter we have to press control shift enter control shift enter so we find out that there are two modes but we have selected four cells so it gives an error in the other two cells so in this way we can find multiple mode now interesting thing is that the multiple mode do not works in horizontal fashion let us try it out again in in here in the first we'll write down the function mode 
equal to m o d e mode we have bracket open and select all the cells and we press enter the answer is 7 single mode is again works as uh, exactly like mode we'll write down equal to m o d e mode dot single and we select all the data sets and press enter it gives 7 we select all these four cells to find a multiple mode we write down equal to mode dot mult we select our data sets and press control shift enter you see in all the cells it fills 7 only because the first number it encountered encountered as mode is 7 now what actually happened is mode do not work in a horizontal fashion it works in a butler fashion like you see we have done up here we will do another method we will write down equal to mode dot mult bracket open and select all the data we put this mode inside transpose function transpose that converts columns into rows right so we will write down here transpose and we open a bracket and in the end we close the bracket and what we have to do we have to press control shift enter control shift enter now you see we are having an answer 7 8 and 1 are the three modes it means that 7 8 and 1 are the numbers which are appearing maximum number of times in these set of data or we can say 7 8 or 1 are having the highest frequencies also 7 8 and 1 are appearing equal times in this given set of data and i have seen that one i have colored it as four times that means four seven and one seven and eight all three are appearing at least four times and there is no other number that is appearing four times in this data in simple words if you want to apply multi mode here you can also apply multi mode here but it can give you a single mode and horizontally it will not give you a multi mode it will only give you a multi mode in with a function transpose so what we can do is we will select these two cells we will write down equal to transpose bracket open mode dot mult and we will select our whole set this set and double bracket close because two brackets are open we have to close two brackets and control shift enter so in the first set there are no modes let us see if we can have an answer by dragging it down yes in the first set there are 1 and 8 second set then 33 that means only one number is mode next 7 only is there and the last ones 1 and 17 there are two numbers which are appearing up here as a mode